Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create smooth endings from finished tracks in Reaper. I have a project in front of me here, and I was given a finished file, but I need to create an ending to it. Maybe I'm using it for a commercial or a movie or a video game, and I want to stop somewhere in the middle, but still make it sound smooth with a smooth ending that fades out naturally. Let's hear what it sounds like now. I don't want to win. So let's say we want to stop right about here. I don't want to wait. We want it to sound smooth and fade out naturally. So let's start by splitting before this hit. Put a cursor right here. Type S. And let's delete this piece. And add a fade at the end. Let's hear this. I don't want to wait. It stops a bit abruptly. Make the fade a bit shorter. I don't wanna wait. That's better, but as you can tell, it's still too short. It sounds like we cut off the song immediately. And because we don't have the original multi track project, we can't really create a dramatic ending by muting or unmuting certain tracks. We have to do it with this file. But luckily, we still can. Let's start by adding some reverb. We'll go to our track effects, go to the Reaper effects, and choose Reverbate, which is a reverb that comes with Reaper. Double click it. Let's double click the dry to put it at zero and bring down the wet. Make the room size a bit bigger, bring down the dampening to make it brighter, and it sounds like this. That sounds better, but as you can tell, we now have reverb on the entire file. Like this. I don't wanna wait. We just want it at the end. So we can automate it like this. Go back to the plugin, touch the wet knob or slider. So it's the last touched parameter. Go to the menu and choose show track envelope. Make this smaller. Now, right down here, we have an envelope that's going to automate the wet knob of the reverb. Let's drag it down so it's off. And then we'll create a few points. Hold on the shift key and click right about here, which adds an envelope point, and add another one over here. Bring this one up to taste, and let's hear that. It's a bit too loud, so you can bring it down a bit. I don't wanna wait. That feels better, but it's still missing something. I believe the vocal has some delay on it, so let's add some as well. Go back to the track effects, double click, go to the Reaper effects, and this time we'll choose Read Delay. Double click it. Let's put it before the reverb so our delay. We have reverb on it, leave the dry at zero, and bring this down to taste. Let's set the length to two eighth notes or a quarter note. Bring up the feedback for repeats, bring down the filter on the top end and the low end to make it sound thinner. Let's hear that. That sounds pretty good, but now we need to automate this as well. Just touch the parameter, go to the menu, and choose Show Track Envelope. Make it smaller, and we have the envelope right here for the delay. Once again, we'll bring it down and just insert some points. Hold the Shift key, 
one there and one here. Bring this one up. And what's here? That. Sounded pretty good. So now we have no effects added to the track until the ending where we cut it off. So let's hear the whole thing. I don't want to wait. Sounds pretty good. It created a dramatic and smooth ending right at the end where we cut off our file. So this technique is very useful for video games or movies or commercials where you're just given a finished audio file and you need to create smooth transitions from one section to the other or just create endings that sound more natural or that fade out over time with delay or reverb. So that's pretty much it. That's how to create smooth endings from finished tracks in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo boys, let's go.